Don't judge me, only God can judge me. Hey, it's Anna back with another stint take. So many times those statements come from people who want to reject moral accountability and ultimately the moral lawgiver himself. Never just read one verse out of the Bible. Context is so important. So today we're going to read where those statements sometimes get taken out of context. Matthew 7, one through five says, do not judge so that you will not be judged. For in the way you judge, you will be judged. And by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye and behold, the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. As you guys can see by reading this verse in context, Jesus never told us not to judge, but how to judge. Jesus is explaining to his audience how to make a proper judgment. He says, then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. When Jesus warns, do not judge, he doesn't mean we should never assess moral behavior. Rather, he warns us against self-righteous and hypocritical judgments. When you judge, take the log out of your own eye first. Jesus is not saying it is never right to judge. He is explaining how we are to judge rightly. Later on in verse 15, Jesus warns of false prophets, and he actually tells us how to discern or distinguish between who is a true Christ follower. He says, you can identify them by their fruit. That is the way they act. He goes on to say, yes, as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. Good works and godly living are a result of faith in Jesus. So what's the danger if we don't judge anyone? Well, in 1 Corinthians 5, there is a man in the Corinthian church living a sinful life and nobody has done or said anything about it. If you let one evil person do their sinful thing without addressing it, more people will do that sinful thing and think it's okay and maybe even good. Paul says not to associate with immoral people. He said he wasn't talking about people of this world. Of course, we don't expect non-Christians to act like Christians, but he said not to associate with any so-called brother that is living a sinful or immoral life. Paul said, for what have I to do with judging outsiders? Do you not judge those who are within the church? But those who are outside, God judges. Remove the wicked man from among yourselves. Ultimately, only God can see your heart and your mind. And one day we will all stand before God to give an account of our lives. And he will be the final judge to each person and it will be perfect and just. So remember guys, Jesus never said not to judge. In fact, the command to judge is implicit in his words recorded in Matthew 7. However, we must not judge with a prideful or selfish heart. We must remain humble and self-reflective, never forgetting that we too are sinful and no better than anyone else. We must model truth with grace and love, just like Jesus. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below with any questions or any thoughts that you have, and we will see you next time. If you wanna learn more about this topic and many others, or about our cost-free stint internship, visit topbecker.org slash stint.